Welcome to Meet the Mustangs. Returning to Meet the Mustangs, head men's basketball coach Mark Coleman. Mark, welcome back. Good to see you, Mike. And welcome back to Sober City. What a <laughs> long road trip. Have we had a road trip that long since you've been here? No, not even close. Uh, that was seven straight games on the road and uh, with basically a, a one a day and a half day break and, yeah. and there was a snowstorm then so that <laughs> that was just trying to <laughs> shovel myself out of my own driveway yeah. so uh no the seven straight games was it was tough and especially with three division one games and no never have, has there been a, a trip like that so and hopefully never again yeah that was pretty tough <laughs> that was tough and and it, i think it took its toll eventually on the players uh i don't think so much the adam state game but i, I did think the fort lewis game that yeah. we were just physically and mentally and emotionally tired and um, it, it's, it'll be good to be back this weekend. Well, Coach, you played three Division One teams. Mm -hmm. My impression was is that we fared pretty well. We didn't mm -hmm. win, but we showed that we can play with them, and especially Colorado, who ended up beating number eight Mizzou. I agree, Mike. And um, the UTEP game uh, really was a tough game because we had a week off uh, that we had to take off uh, with NCA with an NCA mandate. But then we only had one day of practice. Uh, to go and play UTEP, yeah. so that was a tough situation, uh, and I thought we played a little bit better against Sam Houston State, but uh, the one thing that you obviously lose is your, is your conditioning, but you also lose your shooting touch, right. and uh, we didn't shoot the ball particularly well against either of those teams, um, but then against Colorado, I thought we had confidence coming off of the Christian and Mines wins, and uh, and we played well, and, and we scared them a little bit, and, and we made their coach take a timeout early, and, yeah. and he benched all five starters, and. You know, that made us feel pretty good that uh, that we we did deserve to be there and uh, and we were going to give them a game and uh, they were just too big and, and too strong and too fast that, but we held our own and um, with them beating Missouri uh, a couple of nights later you know, that was it was pretty impressive that you know we did lose by 22 but then they go and beat Missouri who was number eight in the country by 13 and uh, so we did play Colorado well and um, and hopefully, you know, that this entire trip will be a springboard to, to playing uh, Kearney and Chadron this weekend. Well, definitely you've got what I think is the toughest part of your schedule mm -hmm. out of the way. And you come away in the RMAC with a road split, 2-2, two and two, beating Colorado Mines, handing them their first mm -hmm. loss of the season. you got to feel good about those two wins early. Uh, it did. It, it felt great. And, uh, you know, it, it, at times you look at it and you're, you know, I'm upset that we lost to Adams and, and Fort Lewis. Yeah. and. You know, I guess just the timing of the wins where you know, we won the two, the first two and not the last two, but uh, we had to, the fact that we won two was, was a feat. And last year we only had one road win the entire season and then we have a road trip where we win two. And, 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 and that was uh, something that I thought that if we could come out with a split that uh, we would be ahead of the game. One, it would, it would make up for the, the Springs loss that we had at home. Uh, Mines was undefeated and uh, you know, a lot of teams had gone in there and, or they'd gone on the road and hadn't fared well, and, and we did. So that game especially that we hung in there, minds continued to come at us and come at us, and we did the things we needed to do, make free throws, take care of the ball late in the game. Uh, I think matured our team a little bit where now if we get in that situation again, hopefully we'll be able to draw uh, from that experience and, and that positive experience and, and come out and do the same things, except probably ho hopefully play a little bit better defense down the yeah. stretch because I, I think that we were so worried about following them that we did follow them anyway, and or we gave them easy shots. Yeah. And so hopefully down the stretch you know, we'll just play better defense and, and and still continue to make the free throws. But uh, Adams was a tough game uh, because they play a different style. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, Kind of like pressuring the Eagles more than the Yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It, it was really physical and. and you know, we didn't handle it well. We did take a lot of threes in the first half where we, they only had four fouls, and then they had 17 fouls in the second half where, especially late in the game, we tried to get to the basket, and, and we succeeded, and, and that's what we should have been doing the entire game. And, and when we play them again, hopefully we'll be a little bit more prepared. And, and Fort Lewis was just, uh, just one of those games that you, know, you kind of chalk up to experience. Uh, we were out of it early. And, um, well, they hit 11 of, back or 12 of 17 threes in that exactly. first half. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And they're the type of team that when they get on a roll, they're, they're tough to beat by anyone. Coach, looking at the rest of the schedule real quick, you're in control of your destiny. Do you mm -hmm. feel pretty good? I know you want to be better. No coach has, mm -hmm. has ever happened. <laughs> but getting through this tough part of the schedule, mm -hmm. a lot of games at home, do you feel good about your chances to get into that top four? I, I, I do feel good, Mike, uh, about our chances, and, and it, it will be nice to be home. Uh, the fact that we're 2-2 two and two at home uh, and we only had two losses all of last yeah. year scares me a little bit that uh, that we don't have that home edge right now. But 
uh, it feels good uh, to a point. It'll be great this weekend, especially if we can get the next two games. Yeah. Uh, but then we go on the road again for for three games, and, and then we're back at home for four games. But uh, it's a kind of a double-edged sword. We play uh, three of the three of the four teams we play are ahead of us. Right. So if we can play well, uh, it's going to obviously move us up in the standings. But we're also playing the three teams, three of the four teams that are ahead yeah. of us. So uh, we're not playing any of the teams that are behind us, and except for Western State. So if we can get those wins, it, it will be great, and, and it will be an opportunity for us to move up in the standings. But they're not going to be easy games. Uh, we can't just think that we're going to uh, lace up the shoes and, and, and get wins because they're going to come in knowing that we usually play well at home, and, and they're going to be ready to, to play it, and, and knowing that if, we, if they lose, that they're going to move down in the standings. So uh, the home games are going to be tough, and, um, but it, it will be nice to be home. and. and sleep on our own beds and practice on our own court and play on our own floor so uh, we're happy about that. Well and hopefully have the great support from a home crowd. I hope we do uh, and when our crowd is there and when you know, we've been in session we've had great support and the, the crowd we need the crowd to get into and get our guys going and uh, and hopefully we'll come out with with wins and especially the first game Carney and uh, they've had some close games they've played uh, Chadron on last Saturday and beat them on the road so they're coming in with some momentum and, and so it's not going to be an easy game, and uh, so hopefully uh, we'll play well and we'll shoot the ball well, and, and uh, we need to pick up our, our defensive intensity, and, and if we can do those things, I, I think we'll we'll play well. Well, Coach, good luck, and thanks for joining us on Meet the Mustangs. Thanks, Mike. Good to see you.